Okay, a lot of you guys are wondering how I fix Grand Theft Auto 4's Fatal Error, which requires you to either reboot or reinstall or update games for Windows Live, which which has been killed off by Microsoft since no one uses it anymore when they want to play in Grand Theft Auto 4's offline mode. So I thought I should show you guys how to do it, and hopefully this will fix your Grand Theft Auto problem, your Grand Theft Auto 4 problems when running it on on PC and hopefully get rid of your Grand Games Windows Live problems with Grand Theft Auto 4. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to fix your 64-bit versions when trying to start it up, and it says it stopped working, etc. Now without further ado, let's begin. First you want to go to is www.media .mediafire.com Gonna, you're gonna want to check out this file right here. And click on download and save it somewhere. I'm gonna save it to my desktop and then I'm gonna show it in my folder. Make sure you extract, click extract here. Make sure you copy these two files to your to your Grand Theft Auto 4 folder. For instance, go to Properties. I have the Steam version, so I'm gonna go to Property. So I'm gonna go to Properties, Local Files, and click Browse ga Browse Local Files. It should take you to Grand Theft Auto 4. Click GTA 4, and make sure you and make sure you paste it right here. There's already a file in the same location. Do this for the next one, Conflicts. I already have it installed, so I'm going to click Copy and Replace. Copy and Replace. Now the next thing you want to do, so that's how you, that's how I got rid of my Games Windows Live problems when, when you're going to start playing the playing Grand Theft Auto 4. And another thing you you're going to want to fix is the compatibility. Make sure you run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 and click OK and then Grand Theft Auto 4 should start smoothly it ran butter smooth on my computer so I hope this tutorial helped thank you for watching guys